Hey there, it's me, Gazbot, coming at you. This is day one of San Diego Comic-Con. This is preview night. We drove 10 hours or so to get down here, stopped two or three times for a few minutes each, basically just drove ourselves like a crazy pals, crowds, pals, crazy pals, whatever. Anyway, here is the manic, frenzied, trying to squeeze a little bit of fun out of when we finally got here and had about an hour left before it closes. Go! All right, so here's the test. Lapel mic, lapel mic, lapel mic. Noise. <laughs> Once again, testing the lapel mic. This is the hotel we're staying at, the Double Tree by Hilton. <laughs> well, here we are walking. You can see the train is branded with Conan Pops. That's the first, well, that's not even the first indication. There's been many indications. And as the sun sets here in lovely San Diego near the convention center, there's a castle and many other lovelies. Branded buildings, buildings that are branded. That's alliteration as I describe it. As I said before, there's always a sort of Mardi Gras feel. Although having been to Akihabara in Japan, there's an element of that too, where the buildings all have like billboards and there's crazy signs and things, except it's like that all the time there, whereas this is a special event. And we've got less than an hour before preview night closes. 10 hour drive and we quick got to the hotel, changed, got a bus, came over, now we're walking over. Probably by the time we get to the show floor, we'll have about 45 minutes. The good thing is the past came to the mail this time. So as you can see, I already have it. Walking dead. Don't need to stand online. So when she was gonna go to Bluefin to try to get a Bear Guy Gundam model, I'm gonna go to Nika to try to get a Ninja Turtle set. We'll see what happens. I've got a poster tube for posters. There's palm trees behind me and fun with us all. I don't know what this is, but I love it. It's a giant skull. Oh, maybe this is for Skull Island from King Kong, possibly. That's really cool. This is the kind of thing that's like hard to get a shot of when it's crowded, but today you can get a pretty decent thing. Oh, look, coming around here. Indeed, it is King Kong Skull Island, which is superior to the legendary Godzilla. And here's our first view of the main entrance. As you can see, it's actually getting a little bit crowded here now. This is nothing. These are just a couple of random straggly people. This is absolutely nothing. Uh, that is the nicest part of preview night is there isn't a lot to do, but you could walk around and breathe. <laughs> so enjoy the breathing, Quellen, because tomorrow we won't be able to do that. There's a problem. It was mailed to me, but it didn't scan right. And then I went, they told me to go to the RFD fixie place. And they said, because it's a pro badge, they can't fix it. So now I'm upstairs. So I'm squandering the little bit of time I have doing this. The good news is Q's badge worked. She's in looking for her stuff. So that's good. Okay, after running around quite a bit, trying to get my thing fixed and several people telling me that I was in the wrong place or that it couldn't be fixed or it's not my fault, I got it squared away. Coming back downstairs, gonna actually go into the exhibit hall. Goosh, and here we are. All right, so I'm going to Nika, so I wanna go up past DC and take a left. Once again, I, I love the very sparse feeling. This would be a lightly, this would be a mediumly or heavily attended convention anywhere else, but this is definitely considered light for San Diego Comic-Con. And it is preview night, which means the only people that could be here are people that had four day passes, uh, professional badges, or exhibitors. You can't buy just a pass for tonight. It's only from six to nine, and there are no um, major panels or celebrity guests. A lot of exclusives are not being sold, but you could still scope the place out. Like in my case, I fixed the problem with my badge, and you can kind of figure out where you want to go tomorrow, and maybe pick up a few things that are not uh, you know, super hard to get exclusives. And there goes an entire team of the classic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I feel that I may have missed something, but that's all right. We're moving forward. Spawn. IDW, Ninja Turtles. IDW and Boom are the two companies that I always think about in terms of companies that I would like to work for uh, based on their properties and relative size and that sort of thing. Of course, image publishing the horror A4 for me would not be terrible either. That's pretty cool. They always have Lego sculptures, which is great, but the light is a new touch that I really enjoy. 8.36, the con floor closes at 9. I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. I'm looking for an ATM to get money. I, got, I took out money from a cash machine earlier to avoid this problem, but not enough. It's never enough. Always take out more. Who doesn't take credit cards? Mm, Nika. I'm even sweatier now. I took off my hoodie. I got my money. It was an ATM as far as I could possibly be from where I needed to go. Here's some cool swamp thing. Oh, there's so much cool stuff and I can't even look at it. Luckily, I'm here for a few more days. Anyway, I'm going to Nika. Turtles accomplished. Heading out. They're closing in about nine minutes, but there's a Dragon Ball Super where they can Saiyanize you. And I'm sweaty and gross, but this is one opportunity where being sweaty and gross makes perfect sense. Give it all you 
That's Tryptacon. He looks lovely. Look how big he is. Look at my hand. And there he is in base mode. Here's a bunch of other stuff. Most Transformers, these are uh, from Titans Return. Most of these have already come out. I think on the other side they have newer stuff coming out. I don't know if they're selling Trypticon here. I kind of hope they're not. <laughs> Some more. Buy them all. I have all these. I'm not a fan of the Bayformer universe, and this is from last night, but it is a pretty cool diorama with the fire and kind of a Ghidorah looking. Uh oh. They're making us go! Oh, here is. This is the figure I've been waiting for since Force Awakens. Dun dun dun. That's the Thrawn set I want to get for sure. Yeah. The Luke, I'm not sure. If they have this two pack, I'll get it too. And then this is a lot of stuff that's already been released. I think those are the only new ones up so far. This Herrick still hasn't come out. They had this here last year. Here's all the classic stuff that nobody could get anymore. That's it for preview night. We were here for less than an hour. We did actually get quite a few of the exclusives we were looking for. I got to do a cool Dragon Ball Z thing. Saw Walter Jones, the original Black Power Ranger. Didn't talk to him, but saw him. And now we're walking back across the street. We're going to skip the downtown today, hit the bus, go back to the hotel, be in air conditioning, wash off all that Saiyan sweat, and start again tomorrow. All right, back at the hotel room. Let's see what we actually procure. First up, it's this Coraline display set. Now, this is for a friend of ours. Uh, hold on. And it's sealed, so I can't show you what's inside. But it comes with a little figure and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and this was from NECA, Nika. And it was easy to get because I was already there getting this Turtle Jim Jam. This is the exclusive set of the animated figures. Uh, I almost wasn't going to get this because I have a set of the animated figures that came out a couple years ago that are bigger. This art is meant to be throwback retro 90s art. And it's a vinyl case with little buckles on the side, the way they were in the 90s. Then inside, we've got the four turtles. We got, you know, I'm, I was gonna say their names, but if you don't know their names, you don't know their names. Uh, and they got a bunch of cool accessories, including the pizza and turtle communicator and all kinds of show accurate specific stuff. What well, really, a few things sold me on this the case, the pizza slice with the side hole in it, but the fact that they are animation accurate but dark like the early seasons and the early shows and the intro which is the way I always prefer the ones I have now are very similar uh, they're the playmates this is Nika but uh, they're a little bit taller have less accessories and have the lighter skin so then underneath is the bad guys and we have our first ever shredder that actually looks like you did in the cartoon a couple foot soldiers again like the kind of monkey uh, Android ones, a bunch of accessories for them, and then Krang. Krang and his walker, and his hands actually come through the walker. So this is fantastic. Uh, it's good that I got it. Um, I, I imagine I probably could have got it tomorrow or the next day. It's not one of those things that's super impossible to get, like Hasbro stuff. But what's extra good about getting it today is I was only there for, you know, less than an hour and got it, came home. Because what stinks is getting something like that and then having to carry it around all day or spending an hour getting back to the hotel. So. Over here, we can see the stuff Q picked up. Uh, the main thing she got was a bunch of these little Q pop figures, or Q figs, I don't know what you call them. Here's the flash. They're kind of like pop vinyls in terms of size, collectability, and price, but I kind of like them better because they have fun little poses and sayings and stuff. Also got the Mezco Miles Morales. This is a six inch figure of the ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, he's got like a cloth outfit. This is for the big dog. And then there is the X-Force Colors Deadpool, which is for Quellen. And then uh, a Gundam model, which was sort of a secondary purchase to the bear guy, which she has a mini collection of. So quite a successful first day. Um, Tomorrow we're going to try to do Hasbro. Uh, I want to go by the Bandai Power Rangers booth. Um, Bluefin for some Dragon Ball stuff. And uh, generally walking the floor. Maybe take some more pictures. There's a Power Ranger photo op I wanted to get, a Tick one. There's maybe one or two panels I want to check out, but tomorrow is really about getting merchandise off the floor, getting photo ops, because tomorrow's Thursday, and other than today, it's going to be the least crowded day, and it's just going to get worse and worse until maybe Sunday night, which is when you go back to try to do things that you couldn't do. And then Saturday and Friday are going to be the big, big days of running around and being on long lines. So anyway, day one. Ha! See you later. Gazbot, Comic-Con, San Diego. <laughs>